Hey, what's up? My name is Noise and I've got some beef because people say that it's more expensive to eat clean whole foods than it is to eat out and buy all this pre-packaged BS. So today I'm gonna teach you guys how to cook a New York steak because the fact is we can take a piece of meat like this, butterfly it and make two meals for a fraction of the cost you would pay for two carry-out meals. And the best part of it all is that you're preparing it at home so you know it was cooked clean. Let's go. What's happening, my friends? Welcome to my 135-pound weight loss journey. My name is Noise, and like I said, I'm on a mission to get fit. I'm just about four months out from being 40 years old and I know that it's important for me to get my body right, get my mind right, get my heart right because guess what? I got two little kids, I've got a wife, I've got people that depend on me and they need to have the best version of myself out here getting it. So I'm doing this weight loss journey thing. If you guys are doing it too or if you're interested in witnessing the journey from this guy right here to the guy who's gonna be running ultra marathons in about a year or so, then I invite you to subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell for notifications so that you get an update when I post the video. This is actually day 14 of 75 hard for me too. So I've been doing a, a whole daily vlog throughout this program of 75 hard. That's a lot of talking right there. So look guys, I know that one of the biggest problems that we have when it comes to eating clean and getting fit is that we just don't know how to cook. I've been blessed to have the opportunity to always be a foodie since I was a kid. I'm talking about I was making egg and cheese sandwiches when I was four years old. So I've, I've got some experience around the kitchen. You don't get this thick without having experience in the kitchen or spending all your dough at the drive through window. So I just happen to do both. With that said, I know that it's hard, right? You don't know how to cook. You go online and you look up a recipe on how to cook a steak and you come up with these silly old recipes from a blog that takes you 10 minutes to get down to the ingredients just to find out it requires for you to use like 20 ingredients to cook a freaking steak. So then when you do the math and you go to the grocery store, you end up dropping 50 bucks on cooking one meal. That's not what we're doing here. Eating clean can be simple. I know you can lose weight eating chicken nuggets and cheese sticks as long as you track that and you know make sure you're hitting your calories, but there's a difference when you eat clean. You feel a little bit more energetic. You feel that oomph. You just have that extra drive. And guess what? Your body appreciates it too because you're putting in ingredients and food into your system that's easy to digest. Okay, so let's get dirty up in this kitchen. First things first, I'm gonna cook this New York strip here. I paid $13.50 for this at Trader Joe's and it's a thick one too. So I'll be able to make two meals out of this by slicing it butterfly style, just like this. So the first thing you're gonna do is take this out of the refrigerator. You don't wanna cook meat that is frozen. I'm gonna take it out of the refrigerator and let it sit at room temperature for about 30 minutes because I also don't wanna cook meat that is cold. You wanna cook it at room temperature because that's what the pros do. So number two, you're gonna rinse it in the sink with some water. Don't just take this out of the package and slap it in the skillet, dude. Rinse it with some water, pat it dry, let it sit for 30 minutes, and make sure it's dry before you cook it. Step number two, you're gonna heat up a pan. Now, what kind of pan you have? I, I, I don't know what you got in your kitchen, but just use a regular pan. If you got cast iron, then nice. If you have aluminum, then so be it. Whatever you have in your kitchen, put it on the stove and heat it up at a medium to medium low fire. You wanna make sure that pan is burning hot before you start cooking, because this is gonna prevent you from standing over the stove for 20 minutes and end it up with some dry, tough steak at the end. So make sure that pan is nice and hot. Once you got the pan nice and hot, you got your steak washed, butterflied, and dried. What you're gonna do is this. You're gonna slap a little bit of butter in the pan. Make sure you spread it around so that the pan is nice and buttery. And then you're gonna take the meat and put some salt 
and pepper on it. That's it. You don't need anything else. You don't need anything fancy. Don't go Chef Gordon on us. Just salt and pepper and put the season side down on the grill. The minute you put that steak down, it's gonna start sizzling. It's gonna be out of control because your pan is burning hot. Salt and pepper the other side. And make sure you count about, you know, four to five minutes. It depends on how thick the steak is gonna be. A steak like this, if I was to just slap it on there like this, it would take about four minutes on each side to end up with a medium steak. If you like your steak well done, you know, maybe do six minutes on each side. So for today, since we butterflied it, we're gonna cook it for about three to four minutes on each side and turn it once and that's it. Now, since I'm gonna be serving this with some rice and some vegetables, I wanna add in a little bit of oomph. So I'm gonna take some sliced onions and just throw them on the skillet and just flip them once. Let them cook in the fat, let them cook in the butter. Let it get nice and brown on the other side and boom, you're done. You turn off your stove, you can take the meat out of the skillet, put it on a plate and let it sit for about five to 10 minutes just so that it finishes cooking inside because if you cut into it right away, what happens is that it can get a little tough because all the juices come out. So just let it finish cooking and that's it, man, you're done, dude. So 30 minutes outside of the refrigerator, cold water, salt, pepper, some butter, that's it, eight minutes on the skillet. My friends, eating clean doesn't have to be expensive. You don't have to get fancy with it. Today, we got a New York strip because it was thick enough for me to share with my wife and get two servings out of it. And the fact is, at $13.50 for a piece of meat, $1 for a cup of rice, and maybe a dollar fifty for some frozen vegetables. You can't beat it, dude. This is it's gonna go in here instead of accumulating like right around here. And like I said, I know you can do this stuff on chicken nuggets, but a guy like me is not to be trusted around chicken nuggets because I will demolish that bag. My friends, I hope you found this video useful. This is another day of hanging out in the kitchen with noise. If you found some value in this video, share it with someone. Save it on your playlist. Let me know how your steak turned out when you cooked it yourself. And in a time when there's so much happening around us, you don't have to do this alone. If you're looking to lose some weight, you're looking to get fit, you're looking to run, lift some weights, whatever it is, change your life around, then subscribe to the channel, hit that bell for notifications, and walk with me as we blaze the road to ultra. I'll see you guys on the next one. Be well.